Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Desert Have a Garden. Today I am going to share with you a really easy recipe to make wonderful swirl cinnamon bread. So that's the bread that has that lovely swirl of cinnamon and sugar in the middle that makes it so delicious. And this bread is a great bread for giving as gifts. It's also great for using as French toast or toast in the morning. And this video I'm going to make a little more concise than my other videos. So we will go through the process a little more quickly. If you need to reference back to the basics of bread making, feel free to refer back to my sourdough bread making video. I'll post the link up there and that'll give you more of the details as far as the consistency of the dough, what it should look like. It will also show you more images and just give you more of the basics. So with this recipe, we are going to use the bread machine because we don't want to do more work than necessary and we want to save time because I know you're just as busy as I am. So without further ado, let's get started. First things first is you want to make sure that your paddle is installed in the base of your bread machine pan. You don't want to leave that out before you put in the ingredients. And then as with all of my recipes, we'll begin with dry ingredients first. So in goes the flour. Next we will put in salt. Then comes sugar. And you'll notice that this recipe uses more sugar than our regular bread recipes because you want this one to be a little bit sweeter. Then comes our wet ingredients. I'm using one and a quarter cup of water. And lastly is the starter. Give the starter a good mix before you put it into the recipe. And this uses two cups. Next, press start on the bread machine on the dough setting and allow the bread to mix. Once the bread machine has completed the dough kneading cycle, you'll allow it to sit and rest for about two hours. The machine will warm up for some time, usually about an hour, and then the heating element will turn off, but just allow the bread to sit undisturbed for two hours and then we'll come back and begin shaping our loaves. Once you have allowed the bread to rest for two hours, restart the machine on the dough cycle just to get it kneaded back up into a ball. Once the machine has gathered the dough back into a ball and kneaded it around a little bit, we will dump it out onto a clean surface. We put our dough out onto a clean surface and you are careful to make sure that the paddle remains in the bread machine or get it out of the dough if it didn't remain in the machine. Next we need to make our sugar and cinnamon filling for the swirl bread. So we will be using our brown sugar and I take a quarter cup. And here you can also use coconut sugar if you prefer. Either one works just fine. And then we will also use two tablespoons of ground cinnamon. There we go. And then just simply mix these together. Then I like to divide them into two equal dishes because we are making two loaves and it just makes it easier to, to estimate how much you're putting onto each if you divide it in advance. I set the cinnamon and sugar mixture aside and then we have our dough. Here I break it into two separate pieces. If you have a dough knife, you can use that. Otherwise, you can just twist. And you're welcome to flour your surface if you feel it's too sticky. 
but I know that sometimes a little stickiness helps you roll this out because we are rolling it out into a big rectangle. make here the more swirls you will have in your bread so it's kind of nice to have a really nice stretched long rectangle now to apply the cinnamon sugar mixture you'll need this dough to be slightly sticky you can use melted butter brushed on if you would like to do that additionally you can also use just some water to make it stick I like to use a pastry brush it makes it a little bit easier Use your hands to spread it out or you can use a spoon. Sometimes your hands get the best application. Next you begin rolling your dough into a tight roll. This will form our swirls. You use a floured surface your dough will be less sticky and will roll easier however it is more difficult to initially roll it out if it's less sticky okay now you have your roll and you place it into your loaf pan seam side down and I like to apply the remainder. I reserved a little bit of the cinnamon sugar mixture. I like to apply the remainder on top of the loaf here. And again, if you need to apply a little more water to help it stick, you can do that. And then we repeat it all with the second loaf. wrap both your loaves with plastic wrap in order to keep them from drying out and you will allow them to rise approximately four hours before we begin baking. The bread has been rising for four hours and you can see it has filled out the pans nicely and I just slowly remove the plastic wrap make sure it doesn't pull the bread. If you have a stuck spot you just kind of lift it the other direction and now these will be going into the oven that is preheated for 350 degrees and I find that usually 35 to 40 minutes will be a perfect amount of time for baking.
You don't have to score your bread, but it may have splits at different unpredicted areas if you don't. So I like to run a few slices down. Just making some diagonal slices for the bread to split on. If you have a really sharp razor, you don't have to do this sawing motion, but I don't have a bread razor right now. Okay, so we have those splits in there and I will be putting it into the oven. I allowed these to bake for 40 minutes and they sound nice and hollow and look ready to come out of the oven. After you have allowed the pans to cool sufficiently, the bread loaves will release very easily. That's a good way to know if it's cool enough. And they come right out. Get the second loaf out of here. All right. We have our two loaves and I'm going to slice into one. I use a serrated sharp knife. You can see those beautiful swirls there. Very nice. You can see how this formed up very nicely, has the pretty swirls and these slices here. The only thing left to do is a taste test. All right, let's dive in. I put a little bit of butter on my slice. Mmm. The crust is nice and crisp, while the inside is moist and chewy. This is really good. What do you think of it? Cinnamon. <laughs> It's cinnamony. Do you like it? All right. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates in the future.